Hello guys and welcome back to another Galactic Craft tutorial episode with me, Bashful Brit, back on the moon again and today is dungeon hunting day. As you can see behind me on the mini map there's like a huge black hole thing on the moon. If you've got any map mobs whatsoever use them to find these dungeons because otherwise they're very difficult to find. It's basically going to be a big black hole in the surface of the moon. As you can see here you go down and you see like dungeon cave things. Uh, but yeah, if you bring out your map, big ass black hole on the moon. Um, other than that, the normal craters are like normal, just sort of a little bit grayed out. This one's like black, as you can see from the other one as well. They're all like this on maps. Uh, so definitely use a map mod if you can to try and find these, because otherwise they're very, very difficult to find indeed. Uh, so this is where you're going to be getting your schematics. We're going to be looking for schematics to get you a moon buggy and a tier 2 rocket. Both things are very, very, very cool little objects that you want to be playing with. I'm going to show you how to do the boss. I'm going to show you the kinds of things that you're going to encounter in these dungeons. And things to be wary of. So at the minute I am in peaceful mode. Which is why I'm not having anything spawn. Uh, but you've got evolved creeper spawners down here. And you've got evolved skeletons down in the first room. These will... Um... What was going to say? There will always be two spawners in each room. So as you can see, there's a corridor run down. You want to try and keep... you got to be very careful down here. It's very, very dangerous. Um, so what you want to do is you want to try and break these spawners as quick as you can. So gone, gone. And then we're going to run down this way. And then you got a corridor. you got another room. you got another spawner there, which has got spiders in. you got skeletons again. Come down here, you got, occasionally have a chest here, Infinity Orb from Ars Magica, that's pretty cool. Um, Ars, Magica, Ars Magica is a fantastic mod as well, uh, just saying. <laughs> uh, so you got a couple of chests here and there along the way. This is a very scarce dungeon. Uh, so you got little bits here and there and whatever. Like you would any real dungeon. That was a very, very short dungeon for what I've seen. There's like four spawners in total. Normally there's a lot more than that. There'll be spawners in here with cobwebs and everything. Uh, but I think them chests are sort of like making them not appear. Uh, so finally you get to the end after fighting your way through all the hordes of mobs and such. And you get to this thing which is... I, don't, I didn't realise this thing spawned in there. No, it doesn't. As you say, I don't think this thing spawns in Peaceful, but it doesn't. Um... It's sort of glitching in and out there. Uh, but you want to come along to this boss room once you fight your way through and whatnot. Get to here and you're going to get this thing called an Evolved Skeleton Boss. Uh, just be careful as you see there. Boss despawn. Don't leave the boss room while fighting. Re-enter room to respawn boss. If you leave the room he will despawn and you have to start over again. So just bear that in mind while doing this. Don't like run out of the room. You want to sort of stick to the edges. Uh, this guy is not attacking me because I'm in creative. Whoops. There you go. And now he goes to attack me. He will like launch bows at me and stuff. And then you are attacking with swords. But be careful because he will pick you up and throw you into stuff like that. And that is not what you want. You want to try and fly yourself away. If you can, try and dodge that lava. And see which way he's pushing you. <clears throat> it's very difficult to get hits on him. He's got a lot of hits as well. 225 hit points. But you want to try and avoid that lava as much as possible. He will grab you. You can try and range him if you want. If you want to bring a bow, it's probably a better option. Uh, but I'm a very much a sword person uh, when it comes to this game. Uh, see, you don't want to get stuck on the lava like that because it will eventually kill you. If you can avoid the lava at all costs, it's even better. <clears throat> Very, very difficult, this guy. Like, he won't give you any damage while he's throwing you unless he gets you in the lava, or he won't do you any damage while he's grabbed you, which is fantastic. If you move the arrow keys because of the low gravity, you can kind of avoid the lava. And then once you kill him, he's going to do this little dance thing, and he's going to be like, party, party time. Do that little dance. I think you probably actually know. I was going to say you probably got to hide under there and avoid him. 
Uh, but probably not. So if we go over here, he's then going to drop drop this thing called a tier 1 dungeon key. Also drop you a yellow heart if you're using Tinkerer's Construct. And then, yeah, so the next thing we're going to do is... Let's just quickly... Whoops. Inventory. I'm so used to going into my bag. Um, let's quickly move this. We're going to grab ourselves a tier 1 dungeon key, which is in our hand. Huge ass giant key, looks really cool. Uh, it's really tiny in your hand, it just looks giant here. Uh, so if you come after you've obviously fought your way through the tunnel, killed your boss, you're gonna run through here, and you're gonna run into this end room, which is gonna have this magical treasure chest in it. Uh, with your key in hand, right click on this chest, it'll place it in it. Open up your chest and you'll get a schematic for a moon buggy. This is the second one I've got. So you might have to go through a couple of these dungeons to get your tier 2 rocket and your moon buggy. You're not always guaranteed to get a schematic either, I believe. Um, but yeah, so you want to keep going around and try and get all your schematics. And then we're going to cover how to build everything in a later episode. Uh, in the next episode, sorry, I'm going to let you guys go off and adventure and try and find your own dungeons. Uh, but yeah, these chests can't be harvested as well with a pickaxe. You'll literally sit here forever. You'll either destroy it completely or you just won't destroy it at all. Uh, there are mods that will allow you to transport it. Like we've got Practicalities, which has a matter transporter. Uh, basically allow you to pick it up. If I can find it. Let's have a look. Search items. Matter. There you go, matter transport or practicality. It's a very th simple thing to make. Uh, let's have a look. Very, very simple. Two ender pearls, diamond shard, and a stick. Cheapest thing you can get, easiest thing as well. It's really, really cool. You can just move things about. I've got a couple of these at my base on the server because they look really cool. Apparently, right, there's one thing I want to check. I think you can double up on these. Um, let's grab a treasure chest. Oh, no way. You can make a double chest. And we got a tier 1 key for it as well. That is cool. So if you get two of them, you can get like a matter transporter. Oh, that is so cool. You can put them together and actually make a double chest out of them, which is now what I'm going to go do on my server world. But that is pretty much it for the dungeon. Just be very careful. It's normally a lot more dangerous than this. You're going to have to go through a couple to get all your schematics. But if you want to get to Mars and get the moon buggy. Both really, really cool little features. Definitely something you want to be getting. You also want to jump out of here uh, as best you can. You might want some blocks to take with you. On that note, just to pillar up with. Um, where are we going? We want to be going north. So you want to cut, take a couple of blocks with you to pill it up out of there. But that is going to be it for the episode. I just want to show you guys the dungeon, the moon dungeon, and show you guys how to do the boss. It's very, very easy. Once you get to Mars, though, you'll realize how easy that boss was and how much you wish you could be back there with that boss rather uh, with this boss rather than the one on Mars because the one on Mars is just an absolute nightmare. Meteor! Yeah, they will fall anyway, so you're going to have to do a lot of exploring. And be very careful because this place is dangerous at night. One addition, do not try and sleep. Do not bring a bed up to the moon and try and sleep because it will blow up as its class is a different dimension. There is a way of sleeping, but you cannot do it yet. I will show you quickly because we've got time on this episode. Let's quickly... Do -do -boop, do -do -do -do. Cryogenic chamber. You cannot build these until you get to Mars, but basically it's a chamber that will allow you to sleep the night away on any other planet. Very, very useful, but you're going to need dash ingots, which you can only get from Mars. So you're going to have to go get your tier 2 first before you can sleep. Just be very careful at night because this place can get dangerous, especially when you're landing at night as well. Uh, it can really screw you up. Uh, but that has been it for the episode. Uh, let's just quickly turn it day because I can. Does that even work on the moon? Nope. Doesn't really matter what time I set the day to, does it? Nope. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, but that has been it for the episode, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have found it useful. I hope you guys go off now and 
not punch holes in roofs because that's just bad. That's just really bad. Let's go outside quickly. So yeah, go off, explore your dungeons, go get your schematics. And then when the next episode, I'm going to show you how to build them. And then we're going to be jetting off. Uh, the start of next episode as well, I will show you guys. I know I said I was going to do it this episode, but start of next episode, I'm going to show you guys what I've done on the server. I'm um, hoping to have a little bit of progress done on it between now and then because I haven't done a hell of a lot on it in the past day or so so it's still pretty samey from what I left it at but I'm going to go over it and give you guys a little bit of inspiration and a couple of ideas and whatnot. Uh, but thank you guys for watching hope you guys learned some things as always any questions regarding Galactic Craft I've played a fair bit of it now so I think I know a lot or I know a fair bit anyway so if you guys need any help at all, just leave it down in that comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye.